Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at SMTAI in Rosemont, Illinois, and I'm joined by Ivan Romo from Smart Soul down in Guadalajara uh, and Mexico generally. First of all, congratulations. I saw as soon as I walked in, I saw your picture on a, on a poster out there. I think you had some recognition here. Tell me about that. Oh, thank you, Phil. Uh, yeah, yesterday uh, the SMTA Board of Directors and the Awards Committee uh, gave me the International Leadership Award. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose that is based on my contributions to the industry, but uh, the interpretation that we are doing in Mexico is that there is a recognition for the Mexi Mexico team that is really hard, uh, hardly working yeah. to develop the industry uh, together with the SMTA. You know, we have eight years working uh, with the SMTA organization. And right now, the Guadalajara show is one of the largest for the SMTA around the world. So it's not Ivan Romo, yeah. it's Ivan Roman, it's Ricardo Gallardo, Miguel Vasquez, Jaime Arreola, uh, another good friend that has been uh, on the chapter for eight years. Yeah, and it's been, it's been a great success down there, and it's kind of followed the success of the region but the the SMTA event in Guadalajara has become more and more significant as a as a as a big event for the whole country yes it is uh, we are really close to the next in the next three weeks we want to have the that exhibition and technical uh, forum in Guadalajara it's going to be October 23 and the 24th yeah. uh, everybody is welcome to join us uh, the registration is already open in the web so we have a uh, huge expectations about that exhibition this year. Yeah, and it comes in a in an interesting time in in the global economy, but particularly in relations between the the uh, U.S. and Mexico. What's what's going on at the moment? We're seeing we're seeing quite a lot of business move out of Asia. Some of that's coming to Mexico. We're seeing some business moving from Mexico to the U.S. How resilient do you see Mexico being in this in this turbulent time? It's very hard to read really what is going to be the, the forecast of the, the next months uh, for the industry in Mexico. Automotive industry is being downsizing you know, a little bit, maybe 10%. Mm. So no big investments in the automotive uh, for new lines, but of course there are huge investments for optimizations. Yeah. Uh, and, and that is one of the segments that we are involved. Uh, of course, that infrastructure for uh, 5G is still a lot of movements in the industry. Mexico is being prepared to, to start manufacturing that, that kind of products. Most of the companies have one or two customers targeting to be uh, manufacturing in Mexico. So that is a good news for us. Um, of course, there are many products uh, coming from China, but uh, all the companies are doing a slow movements trying to, to read what is the global economy situation. Yeah. Uh, we can say that Mexico is in a healthy position now. The relationship between the Mexico government and the U.S. government is being uh, improved in the last days. Yesterday, I, I read in the news that Mr. Donald Trump uh, sent a, a note to Mexico about uh, the work that we are doing with the immigration process. So looks like now Trump is happy with that uh, progress in Mexico, so that is a good movement for us too. Yeah. So uh, a few months ago, everybody was on hold because uh, expecting that situation with the immigration problem and the global economy. Now it looks like the immigration is, is, is being under control, so just trying to see how the technology trend will push for the manufacturing in Mexico, yeah. and we have uh, good expectations for the end of this year. Yeah, yeah and I think everybody's, everybody's waiting to see how trade wars and tariffs are going to play out in the global economy and I don't think anybody can predict that. One of the things that I've noticed over the last few years as I've been in, in Mexico and particularly in Guadalajara is we see more and more innovation, we see more design engineers as well as manufacturing engineers coming out of a university. Is that a phenomenon that's helping, helping fuel some internal growth as well as relying on, on stuff from elsewhere? Yes, yes. Um, uh a couple months ago, we invest in a new uh, warehouse and demo center in Querétaro, and I was very pleased to see that within a small industrial park, 20 buildings, at least five of those buildings, it was uh, uh, innovation and integration companies, local companies. So, looks like the young people is uh, doing their own startups, looking at innovations, 
and the industry is having a good perception of, of these companies and of course that is creating a new ecosystem in Mexico uh, for new products, new technologies, new, new pro, uh, process. So very happy to see that in Guadalajara, of course, uh, many startups about the innovation products, but uh, that is a, a nationwide uh, movement right, right now with the, with the universities working with the industry and the startups for the uh, young professionals. Yeah, yeah, and I think the the universities play a very important role, and it's very important that the industry gets involved in that, and we are seeing a new type of, of graduate coming out in Mexico, people that are more technically capable but also much more entrepreneurial. That's that's exciting to see from your point of view. Yes, yes, that, that's very excited. Uh, uh, it's something that is happening with our company also because the, the new guys are not the guys who wants to be 24 by 7 in the middle of their production lines. They want to create the solutions that can avoid to do that. Yeah. So that means that we are uh, moving the manufacturing into a uh, better efficiency yeah. uh, uh, production lines and of course developing a new uh, developing and implementing uh, better ways to control and monitoring the, the efficiency of the lines yeah and I think that's really really valuable because what you're seeing is you know product innovation and ideas coming out of the universities but we're also seeing process innovation and as we go through this digital transformation Mexico is playing a real role you look at their large EMS companies that are in Guadalajara, for example, many of them have their Industry 4.0 teams present in, in Mexico. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the good thing in Guadalajara, the, the largest guys in the world are over there. So we have the, the benchmarking company over company. So it's more easy to, to implement that uh, high control process. Industry 4.0 is already in place in some of our customers. So. Uh, we we would like to have that same level of automation with the tier two, tier three companies, and of course the local uh, EMS that we have in Mexico. Yeah, and that's really you're you're in a really interesting position, I think, as a as a representative company that has many principles that play in that space. You're able to bring that all together, but you also get to talk to dozens of EMS companies and bring their ideas. So so you get a good idea of visualizing the speed that everything's happening. Yes, uh, everything is moving very fast. Uh, for example, in Tijuana area, we have a large EMS, uh, one of the top three guys, and they have been implementing a lot of cobots. Basically, uh, it's not to remove operators, it's to use the operators in a, in a, in a more valuable positions. Yeah. So how, how to produce more with, uh, yeah, with, with, the, with the same headcount uh, so in the last two months we have installed seven cobots and I'm very happy to see uh, how this customer is making success yeah. with our solutions. Yeah, and it's interesting for, for you as a business because your offering has to adapt to that. So being constantly aware of that, being able to look at global players and make sure you have the right principles and the right, the right portfolio of product for your, for your EMS companies is essential. Right, you know, we were gone almost eight years ago. And we're more than happy to see that right now we have the, the top uh, products in our portfolio. So the strong relationship with our customers, the strong relationship with our principals are taking us in the, in the best position in Mexico right now. Yeah, and then being much more than just a, a reseller, being a, you know, a technical resource, a service resource, a support resource for both sides of that is, is, is huge. Yeah, right now nobody is buying off the shelf. Everybody wants customized solutions. So that uh, how Smartsol and another good competitor that we have in Mexico, our focus needs to be with applications, with pre-sales engineering, with post-sales support, and, and of course how to help them to take the best of the technology. Yeah. Well, Ivan, thanks for stopping by. Absolute pleasure Thank to you. chat and congratulations again on your award. Thank, Thank you. you.